let's discuss about the WDM network. Assume this is a site one where we have the customer equipment are placed and we'll get the output of the customer equipment and that will be input of our DWDM network. So the first component in DWDM will use transponder. A transponder that will connect with client card or client equipment and receive the client signal. So the question may ask what transponder do or what's the use of transponder? So a transponder basic functionality is to perform optical to electrical to optical conversation O E O It receives the client optical signal that may be on 850 nanometer or 1310 nanometer or any another appropriate wavelength. Then it converts the optical client signal to electrical and reconvert into optical using two diodes that are back to back connected in transponder and then assign a i duty frequency to that signal so here the question may ask what's the range of frequency so in dwdm we are using two band c band and l band c band is mostly used by all of the companies but now most of the companies are moving toward L band also. For C band, we have the range for 191.325 terahertz to 196.15 terahertz. And for L band, we have 186 terahertz to 190 terahertz. And these frequency rates varies based on different manufacturers and their different cards. But if we answer the within this range that is good enough to answer this question so then after the transponder signal goes to multiplexer and similarly we can connect more transponder and signal sent to mul single multiplexer a multiplexer job is to multiple all the signal together and transmit on a fiber so the question may ask how many channel can transmit or do you know channel spacing? So channel spacing refers to spacing between two channel center frequencies. As per ITUT G.694.1 standard, it's recommended for channel spacing. We started DWDM with 100 gigahertz channel spacing that are still in use where we can transmit 44 channels. Then we move to 50 gigahertz we can transmit 88 channels and nowadays we are using 12.5 gigahertz channel spacing or flex grid configuration after the multiplexer signal goes to amplifiers a amplifier job to amplify the signal and add the osc optical supervisory channel placement of amplifier is not always mandatory that depend on your side distance or span losses. But we consider amplifier as a building block of DWDM network. So signal transmit to amplifier. Here some time type of question may ask is there any type of amplifier? Yes, there are three types of amplifier. One is EDFA, Airbum top fiber amplifier. Second, a Raman amplifier. Third is semiconductor optical amplifier. But in most of the DWDM network, you will find EDFA and Raman are deployed. Then, maybe next question can ask what is OSC and what's the wavelength of OSC? So, OSC is optical supervisory channel, and this is used for maintenance purpose. Or including the remote site alarm reporting communication necessary for fault location and we are using out of C band wavelength for OSC so some manufacturers are using 1510 nanometer some are using 1620 nanometer or any another appropriate wavelength also after the amplifier signal goes 
out from site A. And if we have a long distance network, might be we are using inline amplifier site. There we are just using the amplifier, or we can use the add drop also that we call optical add drop multiplex also. So here we'll just assume two node site. So our signal goes to site B and it will insert into amplifier. So here amplifier again amplify the signal and drop the OSC channel. After amplifier signal goes to demultiplexer that separate the both the channel. And output of demultiplexer goes to transponder that again convert optical DWDM signal to electrical and reconvert into client optical signal and will hand over to client. Here we'll discuss about two degree DWDM network flow. Degree means number of direction this site is connected. So this site is connected with two directions. One is east, east direction, one is west direction. So this site has two degree. And we are using the transponder to add drop the signal. So we call this site as optical add drop multiplexer site, ODM site. So here we receive the DWDM signal from east, which goes to amplifier, which add or drop the OSC. Then signal goes to multiplexer, which perform the add drop of the channel. If we want to drop the channel, we can drop on transponder. Similar, we can add the more client signal also using the transponder. And if we want to pass through, we can pass through to west direction. Similar, we'll receive the signal from west, goes to mux steamer. If we want to add drop, we can add drop also. If we want to pass through, we can pass through as well. I hope.